Hey guys, welcome to this video and in this video we are going to get into an in-depth analysis into the top 20 interview questions for a Comval Backup Administrator. So if you're into backup or storage, you know the importance of Comval in the market. They are the industry leaders in, in the backup and uh, backup storage. So to crack any interview process with Commvault, it's really difficult because of, uh, you know, very less number of people available for the Commvault technology. So the first question I would say everyone asks you is about, uh, you know, to explain Commvault job process flow. So they will ask you to explain the job process flow, how uh, a media agent, a com server, a com server and, and a client gets backed up, how the communication process, everything works. So that was the first question. So if you know the answer for this question, you can put it in the comment section and I'll let you know whether that is correct or wrong. Or I can give you some additional information on that question. So the second one is uh, the most important uh, is what are the daemons in ComServe media agent and client agent ideas. So what are the daemons or the processes? Okay. So the third one is, uh, this is very important, like most of the people ask this question. Uh, for example, if I take a Comvert interview, I definitely ask this question. That is, uh, what are the differences between Comvert version 9, Comvert version 10 and Comvert version 11? See, uh, 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 there is no need to answer all the differences because it's very difficult. But two to three differences with each version would be a valid answer. So the fourth one is, you know, what is the base process in CV and how it works? In ComServe. And how it works. Is very important and the fifth one is uh, I would definitely ask about the index cache and I will also ask about its functionality how it's configured all these things about index cache and the sixth one is how deduplication works in Commvault. This is a video which I have already done. So you can, if you, if you are interested to learn how deduplication works in Commvault, I would suggest you to go to my previous. Uh, I think uh, four or five months back, I did a video on how it works. So it's better you go and refer to that video. And if you already know the answer, please put it in the comment section. And the seventh one is I will ask about the DDP, and I will. Uh, the reason why I ask about the deduplication database is uh, some people what I see they know how deduplication works in Commvault but they don't know how what is a DDP and how it can be shared with different media sir, media agents and all this so that's the reason I ask about um, the database uh, deduplication database so once we ask all this you know these seven questions are really important and once you get uh, to these seven questions, uh, you can start with, uh, you know, something called, uh, let's know about the user groups. What are the different user groups, uh, default user groups in Commvault? And uh, we can also ask about the different status of the tapes in Commvault because no one, uh, most of them are not using tapes nowadays, but still, uh, we, we have to know what is their prior experience in Commvault. So it's better to ask about the different uh, status of tapes in Commvault.
in C. So the tenth one I ask about is what are the different DB agents in your environment? So now what I'm trying to do is I, I know you know the basics with these nine questions that I ask you. So I want to know about your experience in Commvault. So I ask about the different DB agents in Com in your environment. And as we go, um, see, uh, when I asked about the DB agents, uh, immediately I will definitely ask him about uh, how the SQL backups are happening in his environment. Oh, we can put in or her environment. So, it's really important people do a lot of SQL backups, but they don't know how SQL backups work. So that is the reason we have to ask this question. And we uh, now on the DB level, I'm sure maybe I'll throw one or two more questions on Oracle backups, Rman, uh, about the transaction logs, the circular logging, all these things. I will try to probe and get a complete details about his experience, his or her experience into uh, SQL backups and the DB backups. So coming to uh, the next question, uh, since we already asked about the DB uh, and all, so I will start to know, uh, I will ask him um, or her to explain about uh, the DRDB backup. This is the most important, I think, uh, to understand the DR uh, part in the Commvault. So I will uh, ask about this question. And the next is I will uh, ask him about the two different methods uh, for DR process. What are the two different methods for DR process? So we are done with the DR part and uh, now I ask about uh, the retention and the cycles, the retention periods and the cycles. What is a cycle? How do you configure it? All these things. I ask him about uh, the retention periods and the cycles. And uh, now we know about this. and. Then I ask, uh, this is the most important and this is where most of the people uh, can be analyzed for Commvault skills is your troubleshooting steps. So I will ask the first question as what are the errors that you are getting in your environment? So we'll know about the errors, uh, different errors. Before you go to the interview, try to learn at least 20 to 30 errors that comes in the Commvault environments. So if you get an idea about 20 to 30 errors, that's, that's enough for the interview process. And I will also ask about uh, how a snapshot works in CV and in the Commvault. How a snapshot works in Commvault. So I hope he'll give him um, he or she will give some information on this, and then we have to probe on the IntelliSnap, which is uh, you know uh, a patented technology from Commvault. We need to know about the IntelliSnap technology, how well they know about the IntelliSnap, and. Then we ask about the different types of backups in Commvault. So we'll probe the question to know the different types of backups in Commvault. And then uh, we uh, get into the associate of different policies in Commvault and how they do it in their environment. 
I'll try to probe some questions onto that. So, how they And the last and final question is, I would like to see his uh, or her understanding on the Commvault and the different other backup tools that are available in the market. So, what are the capabilities of Commvault compared to other So we can take an example like uh, of NetBackup, EMC, Dell EMC Networker and uh, Spectrum Product, which are the highest uh, selling products in, in the backup market. So these are the 20 questions um, most likely to come in your Commvault interview process. So prepare well for the interview process uh, before, you know, uh, trying to take the interview or something always prepare for the interviews because uh, preparation is very important I know you many of you know how Commvault works and everything but still when you go for an interview it's better to get prepared at least for two hours uh, try to check all the questions that might come in your interview process and always get successful in getting selected in the Commvault backup job so thank you very much guys for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.